Hello friends, I hope you have watched all my previous three lessons of BioPython and you are now ready to dive into the sea of BioPython. Today is our fourth lesson. In our today's lesson, I will tell you about how to import a specific module from a specific BioPython subpackage. How to see the contents. By content, I mean variables, functions, and classes of that specific module. How to use the contents of a module. Now let's begin our today's lesson. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Our first objective is importing the desired module from its specific BioPython package or its sub package. To import your desired module, you must know one thing that is, which package or sub package your desired module resides in. If you don't know which sub package your module is inside, then you will not be able to import it. To know which sub package your desired module might reside in, watch my other lessons. The detailed method is over there. Let me remind you that you use help function to see the content of a package or a sub package. As you can see, we have a folder named bio. This is our BioPython main package. Inside bio, we have another so many folders called sub packages. I have shown only four here. It also includes some modules. You can see two of them here. One of the most important module here is the sick module. Let's see what inside AFI sub package. It contains two modules. One was present in it by default. The other one named my module was not there. I created it and put it there so that I may show you it as a sample module. There is no such module in your BioPython package. I have put this module in AFI sub package and AFI sub package is inside bio package. This is our sample module that we want to import. If you open this module in a word file, you will see it contains two variables, two functions and two classes. Each of the two classes in turn contain Two two variables and two two methods. Now let's learn how to import package, sub package, or a module. You have to use the import function here. If you want to import this main bio package, use one of the following commands import bio. This will import this bio package. Another command to import bio package is import bio as b. This B here is just a shortcut you want to use for bio. If you import this package with its own name, then whenever you want to use this bio package, you will have to type this whole name. But if you import bio package as B, then whenever you want to use this bio package, you will only have to type B because you have renamed this bio package as B. If you want to import this sub package AFI, then use one of these commands import bio.affi you have to put a dot after bio package so you have to type as import bio then dot and then afi if you want to import another sub package for example align you will have to type as bio dot align similarly for blast you will have to use import bio dot blast import bio dot genbank for this module you will have to type as import bio dot sick import bio dot fire Another command you can use for importing a FI sub package is import bio.afi as B. This is similar to this command. Here you are renaming this bio.afi as B. So you will only have to type this B whenever you want to use this bio.afi sub package. But if you have used this method, you will always be using bio.affi whenever you want to use this sub package. Now let's come towards another method which is a little different from this import method. Here you use from import method. With from import method, you have to type from for this main package where your sub package resides in from bio and then import AFI. It means from this main package, we want to import this AFI package. So from bio import AFI, from bio import align, from bio import blast from bio import sick from bio import file etc now the fourth method where you use shortcut for the afi sub package so the method is almost similar from bio import afi but you have to type as bf so whenever you want to use this afi package you will have to type bf instead of using affi 
Let me tell you one thing that importing a package or sub packages has very limited applications, at least no use in the field of molecular biology. So don't worry about importing packages or sub packages or sub sub packages, etc. So these commands that I showed you are almost of no use to you. Now let's come to our real objective that is importing a module for example our sample module mymodule.py this is our sample module so for importing this module you will have to use almost the same commands let's see import bio.affi.mymodule if you are going to import this mymodule if you are going to import this cell file then import bio dot afi dot cell file let me tell you that if you have imported your module in this method then whenever you want to use this module you will have to type this whole thing all the time so bio dot affi dot my module you will have to type it always whenever you want to use the any of the variables functions or classes of this module another method is better than this one because we here are renaming this whole thing as bfm so instead of typing this whole thing all the times you will have to type only bfm whenever you want to use this my module functions or classes inside these my module these are the variables functions and classes and methods and sub variables of the classes third method is the from import method by this method you type from bio.affi bio.affi it means that from this package and sub package we want to import this my module so you type from bio.affi import my module so if you used this method for importing your my module then whenever you want to use any of the functions or classes of this my module you will have to type this thing my module you don't need to type this thing as you used in this method next method is similar to this but you are going to rename this my module as bfm so from bio.afi from bio.afi import my module but then you are going to rename it as bfm so whenever you want to use the functions of this module or classes of this module you use bfm instead of my module so let's come to our second objective now how to see the contents that is variables functions or classes of the imported module for example you have imported this module and this module contains these two variables these two functions and these two classes and these two classes that in turn contain sub variables and sub functions or you can call them as methods so you want to see these things in this module so how you will see them you will have to type this if you have imported your module with this command then you will have to type as bio.afi.mymodule and then at the end just put a dot as soon as you put a dot you will see the list of these things these two variables these functions and these two classes they will appear on the screen if you are using an ide for example piezo as you can see here that these things are appearing in front of this command if you have imported your module by this method as bfm then you will have to type bfm only just type bfm and then put a dot all these things will appear in front of this bfm if you have imported using this method then you will have to type my module and then put a dot and if you have imported with this method you will have to type bfm again and then put a dot okay now let's go deeper inside the import function for example you want to import this class from this module then you will have to type command like this from bio.affi.module import roshan from bio.affi.module import keramat etc you can also use the as function with this just to make this roshan shorter for the sake of simplicity and use so from bio.affi.mymodule import roshan as rs okay how to list all the variables functions and classes in a module i have shown you one method that one method was this one you put a dot after the command that is bio.affi.mymodule dot you saw this method in the previous slide there is a second method and in that method we use the function dir to see the contents of the module so dir bio.affi.mymodule here you don't need to type the dot over here 
and then if you have imported your module as this one then dir my module if you have imported your module as bfm then use this command it will show you all the content of your module there is another method the third one instead of using dir you can also use help command to see the content of your module another objective how to use a variable function or a class you just have to type this whole thing if you have imported your module with that command where you typed as import bio.affi.my module if you have imported your module with that method then you type that whole thing put a dot and after the dot you just type the name of the variable or the name of the function or the name of the class you have to type only one of these three things then you can use that variable or function or the class if you have imported your module as bfm then instead of typing this whole thing you will have to type only bfm and then after bfm put a dot after dot type the name of the variable function or a class that i just showed you in the previous slide where you saw that this bfm contained two variables two functions and two classes you can type any of those classes functions or variables and then you can use them you can also use this method if you have imported my module as my module with the name of your module then type the name of the module and then function variable or class name okay how to use a method that is the function inside the class for example you saw in previous slide there was a function roshan inside roshan we had a method called addition if you want to use that method addition so how will you use that method you cannot use a method from a class directly with the following method so don't use this method that is if you import it from bio.affi import module if you have used this method for importing your module and then you want to use this addition method which is inside the class roshan and this roshan class is inside this my module so you will have to type my module then dot roshan then dot addition let me tell you that this method will not work so what is the correct method the correct method is you have to create an object first with this class as shown below so first you will have to import your module after importing your module then you will have to create an object with the class inside that module so the object over here is a so we have created an object a and then a is equal to my module dot after the dot use the class name whichever class uh, is your desired class or you want to use type that class name and then put these two parents okay and then hit enter so you have created an object now after that you can use this addition method which is inside this class so you just type the object name and then dot addition and then again these two things and then just hit enter you will see the answer so this method will work for you so that was all for today My next lesson will be about the use of functions for sequence analysis in Shala in which we will use the sic module that is we will be importing bio.sic module and we will be using classes functions and variables that are inside the sic module before closing this lesson i have a polite request please subscribe my this channel i would be grateful to you if you also subscribe my other two channels I hope you will love all my three channels you will enjoy educational scientific content art related videos and entertainment that is fun videos so thanks for watching allah hafiz bye